Hello again everyone and welcome back to my Metroid Prime 3 walkthrough part 6. So uh, thanks again for the support and everything. Thought it was going to be weeks before I got any views or anything but you know. You know but I got them right away so uh, thanks so much guys. Anyway so in this episode we're now headed to visit the Aurora unit as we know to get our briefing. Briefing for my mother brain like creature. Who would have thought? So this part's pretty easy. All you gotta go do is talk to the guy. And that's about all it involves. So up here you have your Aurora unit, which you cannot scan due to the fact that he is blocked out. So you just walk up here and there you go. Mission. And so that's it. So now we get to dash back to our ship. And this will be the last time we will be on the GFS Olympus. So, you know, say goodbye, say your farewells. And now we're taking off for Brio. I mean, at the beginning, it gives you the choice of either taking, um, or I mean, going to Elysium or Brio. But you won't go very far if you go to Elysium. Man, I love this music, though. So now it's time for the mission to go to Brio. Good luck, Samus. Yep. Hoping we have some good luck in this veteran mode. Ugh. Samus, the fleet is now moving to the rendezvous location. You will no longer be able to talk with us from this point forward. Rest assured. We will keep communication lines open and supply you with information when necessary. Good luck, Umbrio. So as you see, we now just go to our map because we don't need any of these other tools like thrust ever again. So I don't really know why they put them in the game then. But here are your options. Elysium, Norian, or Brio. Just go to Brio. None of the other stuff's worth it. So, that's about it. I mean, you can go to Elysium and get some scans and stuff, but you'll get those later anyway, so there's not really a point. Now we get to fly down to go see Brio. But just to explain the plot a little bit, those, um, the whole seed thing, these seeds are now crashing into planets, and then they're being stuck there and implanting Phazon in the planet and starting it to transform it into a planet of pure Phazon. And as you see, though, the, those are protected by a shield unit. And the shield unit is created by the space pirates. And so, I won't spoil too much yet, but, um... That's the main part of it. So here we are. Beautiful planet, beautiful times. There's a lot to look at as soon as you get here. 
These things aren't really worth looking at, though, because they're not important. Tells you a little about some of the lore just by looking at that episode, but, um, uh, come on, come on. If you scan these guys, you're lucky. Just because you won't have a chance to scan them lit much later, so scan them while you can. Here should be some research. Yep. If you blow those things open, you get some nice energy and such. If you're lucky. Sometimes, though, they just give you nothing like those pots in Resident Evil 4. Ugh. The Leviathan Seed is protected by an energy shield. You will not be able to... We need more data. You are near the wreckage. If you can use the satellite uplink, prepare to receive the ship's coordinates now. And there we go. These are the locations... That the location we need to go to, but first we need to get the grapple beam replacement thing. As if only we could have used the first one for grappling across gorges, but obviously not. Which I feel so sad about, but it doesn't really matter. The only important thing mainly, these guys. New enemy, new creature, they don't really matter, so just walk past them if you feel like. Also, you can quickly scan these things. Some more research bonus. These are space fire coffers, or rather, they're just containers for getting energy from. So let's just go through this door before we get shot too much. Ugh. So there we are at Brio. Also, this music is just, in my opinion, just plain okay. I think it could be a lot better, but you know. This is what we got, so this is what we got. So if you notice, those are dragon locks or whatever you want to call them. So now we gotta go unlock those. How do you do that? Well, you go into these little areas that have more fall hole look to them. So first, just go over here. There you are. Simple, pretty easy. So you just roll down here. There you go. Path in. So the idea is we can get through those locks, and so we can proceed to go get the grapple beam. If you go directly behind me, you'll end up at the, um, a wreckage site that you can't get to, though, because of, you know, grapple beam. Since you don't have that ability because your grapple beam doesn't work for that for some odd reason. And so let's quickly scan these guys. These guys are phase on night barbs and they're really annoying because they generate a circle of energy, then they blast you. And then if you're not fast enough, they do it again and it's even worse. So just be fast and booyah. Alright, so grapple this thing, which uh, I would believe causes the bridge to fall away, just like that. So don't stand on it, or else you'll lose 2% of your energy. Wah. Anyway, so go up here, where we have these nice lowered platforms. And avoid these stupid night bars. You will never hit them if you just try to shoot at them, if you noticed. So charge your beam and oh yeah. As I said previously. Anyway. But yeah, I think this place is kinda interesting. Brio is an interesting planet, but it gets a lot better once you travel farther into it. Right now it's just gonna be a boring old Brio. But, I don't know, it's kind of a neat area to explore. But as I was saying, though, earlier, exploration will punish you slightly. Kind of like in the original Legend of Zelda. You know, where the old guys will fine you for burning down their bush and such. So, you want to be a little bit careful about where you explore. Except they don't really, they don't pull that kind of trick. With the, like, you know, causing you any pain. They just, the backtracking gets to be even more of a pain. Because, you know... So, just try to get them before they do that, as I was saying. And then it turns blue also, which I already mentioned as well. Anyway, so then, you just go over here, because you can't cross the bridge any longer, and you have this spot. So all you need to do is grapple this thing out. You can't always just go the other way if you're going to go for your like 1% run or stuff, because the other way, you will not get the energy tank. And you might want this energy tank, just because it's an energy tank. And energy tanks are very valuable, because then, you know, you can use them to get an extra chart, and then it's really helpful for hyper mode. So anyway, just blast these guys away. 
just scan them. They're just the native beetle species. And you can always use missiles. It doesn't really matter. But also in here we have um, another piece of lore, which will tell you about the species. And I actually really love lore, but um, yeah, I'm unsure. I'll just read it, just because I like to. Look now to the past, and to the time of peace of Brio. See the age of gold, when our world has a paradise unwrap, um, unreve unrevealed. Hear the songs of joy fill the streets of the royal city as the people on as the people honor the coming of Brius, the first, the liberator. Behold launch of our first ship to the stars on this day. The witness to the let's see, the wit and witness the rise of science of a new Brio. See this and see the beginning of our downfall. So you can guess they didn't succeed in their greatness. But hey, we get an energy tank, which is Chozo technology, which ends up here. Anyway, just to point out, so yes, we have a Chozo very suit and everything, because we are Chozo ourselves, Chozo blood spliced into us, since we were a baby when Ridley killed our parents. Anyway, that's about all you need to know about the Metroid background story. Uh, these guys are impossible to scan, though, just because they will be like really hard for you to scan, so just scan them as fast as possible. And blast that away with a missile. Which, as I said, I don't really like missiles in this game. But, you know, in games like Other M, the solution to everything. Other M and Fusion and such, but in this game, no, missiles are very weak compared to your charge beam. Anyway, little secret over here. Blast that away. Oh, got hurt. Anyway, climb up here. Blast these little guys away. I scanned them, right? Yeah. Anyway. And so, there you go. Missile expansion, number two, I believe. Anyway. So that's 200 kills. Another front voucher. So, if you don't recognize these, you will soon. Because these are the vines that you can't kill without your hyper mode ability. So just blast them away, pretty basic, pretty easy, and don't wait 25 seconds or else you'll lose your energy tank. Anyway, let's be conservative with your hyper mode. So missile and charge beam takes care of these guys easy. And it'll be time to continue and get the grapple beam next time. Sorry, time's running out on my walkthrough, so um, I will see you guys next time then. See ya.